Hey guys, it's Com B, and you guys asked for it, and I am back with some more Rec Room Studio tutorials. Today's video is going to be about how to import a short video into Rec Room using Rec Room Studio. I just want to make note of two different things. Uh, first of all, you do need to have share screen access for the video player, so if you do not have that, you will not your video is not going to upload so just want to make that clear in case you're having any issues or errors um, you do need access in order to use this feature what i'm about to explain to you for the videos isn't rec room studio specific you could use it for all different types of applications but that being said let's go ahead over to rec room studio and i'll teach you how to get those videos into your rooms all right, so right now we're in a completely empty room I just created. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here and add a canvas. All right, so we could call this video screen or whatever you want to call it that you'll remember. Drag it over into your room to create a prefab. And then go over to your inspector and open the prefab. All right, so there's a few items that you'll want to add as well under the video screen. You want to right click and go to UI, raw image. You'll also want to create a video player. And if you do want to separate out your audio, you'll want to add an audio source. All right, so next up, we have to figure out what video do we want to play on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and go over to my computer and drag in a video that I want to upload. All right, so here I imported a weekly video that I did for my YouTube channel as well as the audio for that video. And what I'm going to do is right click on my room or my room asset folder and I'm going to create a render texture. This is going to be your video texture. Uh, what we'll want to do is find out what width and height my video is, which you could do in your Windows Explorer by just right clicking the properties. And you'll see that if I go over to details, I could figure out what aspect my video is, which is 1920 by 1080. So what I'm going to do is go over to my render texture and update these size, size integers. All right, there we go. Okay, so next up, what we'll want to do is go over to our raw image and we'll want to drag over this texture and I'll call it video texture. And we'll want to drag that into our texture on the raw image. We'll also want to go to our video player and drag in the video clip. I do not want it to play on a wake. I'm going to set up just a simple button where I press it and it plays. And I don't want it to loop. I'll also want to mute this video because I'm going to have the audio play separately so I can decide what audio source I want it to play through and then what we'll want to do is for our target texture we'll again drag our video texture over and go to our audio source drag in our audio and again I don't want it to play on awake and select what the output is all right, so for this one, I'm gonna go to the room that I'm in and I'm going to select the music channel and that will be where the output plays. So if I lower the music volume, it'll lower um, the, the video itself. All right, so let's make sure we have this set up right. So we have our raw image. Our texture is the video texture. We'll also want to make sure that our video clip is playing as well as the video texture is the target texture and then we have the audio source all right now for the rec room studio aspects we'll want to take our video screen and add a couple of components 
First, we'll just add a collider, and then we will add a Rec Room Studio object. I'll make it decorational for now. And we'll also want to add a Rec Room Canvas interaction. We don't need it to be interactable because we're not going to be pressing this screen, at least for this purpose. And we'll want to make sure our render mode is set to world space, which is basically a square or plane we could have anywhere in our room. It doesn't cover our complete face. Um, so that, yeah, we want definitely want to make sure that that's on world space. And we'll want to go over to our raw image and make sure that we reset the position and we'll make our width and height the same that we did for the texture, the render texture. So it was 1920 by 1080. All right, so then we'll want to go to our video screen, click over here on direct transform, hit the alt key and stretch your video to the entire canvas. And once you're done with that, we'll want to create a few events. So we'll have one event and we'll call this video play. We'll want to drag in our video player and play this. And we'll also want to add one for the audio source that plays also when you execute the video play. And again, it'll just be audio source play. So now we have it set up where we're going to have an execution that's called video play, and it's going to play the video and the audio source at the same time. So let's go back and save. We want to remake the object board. And now let's go into Rec Room Studio and test it out. All right, now we are back in Rec Room and I have this chip called video screen. You won't see anything else because I have no material assigned yet, but once we do connect this up, we'll be able to play. Uh, all right, so let's just add a simple button. And we will connect this up to our play button. So when I click this button, my video should play. All right, so now we have our video playing. I did just adjust my speaker volume for music and I turned that down or else this video would be super loud, which you could also adjust in Rec Room Studio. But that is generally how you get videos into Rec Room. So I hope this video helped you guys out and you are now able to import your videos. Obviously, they do have to follow the code of conduct. It goes without saying. Also, you don't want to make sure that the videos are not too long and take up too much space or else you could end up with a laggy room or not be able to get it approved and into Rec Room. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And if you have any suggestions for other Rec Room Studio tutorials, please let me know and leave a like in the comments and also hit that subscribe button it helps me out and gets me closer to my goal of 5,000 subscribers. All right, hope you guys have a great evening and I'll see you later.